is Vancouver Island Report. Good evening. The powerful storm that hit Vancouver Island, leaving widespread destruction in its wake, also threatened the life of a 10-year-old boy in Campbell River. The winds sent a tree crashing down onto the mobile home where he lives, slicing the trailer in half and landing with such force that it pinned the boy to the floor. As CTV's Gord Kerbis reports, his mother was forced to watch in agony as rescuers fought to free her son. Ten-year-old Lakin Platt is today happily climbing on top of a tree that just yesterday was laying on top of him. If it wasn't for them to come get me when the tree piled on me, um, it would be the end of my life and I thought it was going to be the end of my life, but it wasn't. The young Campbell River boy was sitting on this footstool playing video games when a massive tree fell over and into its family's mobile home. The tree split the trailer in half pinning young Lakin underneath. When it fell on me, I thought, I thought that it was a tree on me. And then my mom, when she saw it, she got free, a little freaked out. All I could see was the tree um, with the roof toppled down and all this rubble. And I couldn't see him and I couldn't hear him. Lakin's mother, Brenna, then ran to a neighbor's to call 911. When firefighters arrived, they began their frantic efforts to free him, but also tried to keep him calm. So what were you thinking when there was this tree on top of you? Um, I was, like, freaking out a lot, and I threw up a little bit on the floor. Right. But um, it, doesn't really, it didn't really matter, because the most thing that was more important was to get me out of there. Firefighters had to cut off the legs of the footstool in order to get some clearance between the boy and the tree. For an anxious mother, the 20 minutes it took to free him was agonizing. They had chainsaws and yeah, men all over the place and it, yeah, it was a very difficult process to sit there and watch it happen while I... What, what goes through your mind when that's happening? I was terrified. I was just... I couldn't, it couldn't go fast enough for me. Other firefighters broke through the trailer's front window because it provided the only safe way to remove the youngster. When they cut the tree and they cut the legs off the chair, I was able to crawl out, but I couldn't stand up, so they picked me up and put me into a little slidey thing. This afternoon, the Platts were moving belongings out of the trailer to prepare for staying with other family members. The hope is that they will be able to repair the trailer, but that could be a little more difficult because they had no insurance. Gord Kerbis, CTV News, Campbell River.